alive. I'm alive. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my entire experience on my surgery. I got my gallbladder removed because I was getting these crazy attacks um, starting two years ago. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and your kind words. I read all of your DMs, um, even though I can't respond to all of them. And all of your comments really helped me get through so many things. So thank you, I really appreciate it. Yeah, so anyways, uh, let's roll the clips from two weeks ago, shall we? <laughs> Such a cool hat. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Be alright. You got this. So that's good. And she said that when she went in, she did a small incision. And so should be nice. I just want to make sure your pain's not excruciating. Is it excruciating? No. Okay. Good. Then you're in a good spot. If it starts to creep up and get excruciating, you let me know. We'll get you some pain medicine. Okay? All right. Very good. You're pretty sleepy. If I give you more medicine, you're gonna be zonked. Your lip is normal. It is a little swollen, but it has. It's related to when they put the breathing tube in your. Is your, is your throat sore? Yeah. Yeah. It's from the breathing tube. When they put the breathing tube in, they tape it to your lip, and sometimes people have a reaction because it's rubber. It's hard, and your lip can get swollen. Okay. And that's normal but it doesn't look bad yeah she's shivering that's normal let me get you some more blankets okay do you remember if they um put the mask on you told you anything no, you were just out Well, yeah, she said she. Working wonders. Yeah. Look at my scar, bro. It's small. That's why it took longer. He's looking around for you. Well, he had that tube down it, so it's a little tender, you know. Yeah. Oh, you can open your eyes. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Yo, them lips. Where you get them from? How do you feel? Do you feel okay? Oh, my lip. Yeah, your lips swollen. Looks like you got some injections done. This is the tube. This is the what? It's the tube. The tube. How do you feel? Can you hear me? Do you think you'll remember this? Well, what do you know? The pain is better though. It's your lips look so dry, girl. We're gonna need to get you some lip gloss. Those lips cracking. Well, if there's any consolation, the doctor worked his magic on your lips. You're gonna be accepted into Hollywood now, girl. I'm gonna make you a big movie star. What? Let's check All right, out. Sophia, I'm going to give you a little Zofran. It's, this will help with any nausea you may experience once you start moving around, okay? 
It goes in the IV, and um, it'll help. It'll help you. I mean, a lot of times patients they feel fine when they're laying there, but as soon as they start moving around, they turn green and they toss up their juice. We don't want that. Huh? We don't want that. Yeah, I mean, it could happen. Yeah. She's got a, a lot, lot of times, of though, medicine in her. after you get it all out of your tummy, you end up feeling better. Hello, guys. Whaley reporting live here in uh, Sophia's residence. So she just had her surgery. I came over this morning. Um, Andy and Robin took her to the hospital. So then they took care of that part, and then I was just here with the dogs, making sure like they're okay. She clearly is not worried about her mother has no clue <laughs> but this boy i mean <laughs> my heart he knows and he just wants to be in the bedroom with her but the incisions are on her stomach so i don't want him jumping on her or anything you know so he just has to be out here but he desperately wants to be with his mama i know baby i know your mommy's okay though she'll she'll wake up later so yeah, Sophie's just sleeping right now. I think she's in quite a lot of pain. They gave her pain medicine, but I mean, it's still, you know, a lot. So she is in some pain right now, so she's just trying to sleep it off. Uh, uh, I forgot to vlog all day, um, but pretty much I slept most of the day. When I got back from the hospital, I didn't feel any pain because I was still um, under anesthesia. But then when I got home and after I woke up from my nap, the pain kicked in and I was really, really sore. Um, so I've been taking painkillers every four hours and it's been, it's good when it kicks in, but when it's, Fading, it's super painful. For the most part, I'm doing good. I can't believe I got surgery today. The day has just been feeling so long. It's kind of hard to breathe because when you breathe, your stomach expands, and that really hurts for me right now. So I try to be careful. Oh. Let me see your outfit. You want to see my outfit because you can't get dressed these things. Is that what it is? That's just really evil. Huh? That's really evil to say. No. Why would you even you say never that? Never asked to see my outfit. Yes, let me just live it through you. Fish. This is so unfair. I want to go out. Oh, is that proof? Hmm, looks good, sis. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thanks. Today is day two, post-op. I'm in a lot of pain today. I took my painkillers around 9.20. Um, and I didn't get much sleep last night. I woke up, I felt like every 30 minutes. I had to eat some breakfast and then I took some more medicine. I still don't really feel it yet, and the painkillers have made me constipated, so that's just a nice cherry on top. So there's just like a lot going on in my stomach because it feels really tight. It's sore, I'm in pain, and I haven't pooped, so I don't know if I am like feel bloated. But also even thinking about pooping is really just disturbing because it's hard to just breathe as it is. So imagine me pooping, like my stomach would be so sore. But we'll see how the rest of the day goes. I don't think I can do much, but just like lay in bed. I was going to, but then I thought that would just be so flavorless. All right, today Weili and Wa came to the rescue. My beautiful friends. <laughs> We, we made chicken pho for me. Oh Very my. not traditional, but... <laughs> but look at... This looks so great! Sick fun. Sick fun. I don't know if it's salty enough. Should be. Mmm! Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nice. really good. We, the Awa, just left. Oh, 
I'm in a lot of pain, you guys. But I'm feeling really, really grateful to have my friends and my family come take care of me. Whaley has been here almost every day. Well, it's only been two days, but it feels like I've been home for like five weeks. I'm just so grateful to have them in my life. I really appreciate them. And, you know, Andy stayed over two nights in a row and Robin's been doing everything for me. So it's been, the support is there and I am forever grateful. I haven't showered since Sunday night. My stomach is like really swollen and I'm not sure what I'm allergic to, but I've been itching my stomach a lot. You know that orange thing they apply before they like kind of cut you open? I think like the orange thing is to get rid of bacteria. I'm not sure, but I feel kind of itchy from that because I still have that orange stuff on my body. I'm gonna show you guys my belly button. So these are my four incisions. And the belly button looks the worst. As you can tell, it's like crusty and bloody. She is taking me to the hospital and hopefully I feel better when I leave and my belly button can get cleaned up because it's looking real ratchet right now. <laughs> Whaley is strolling me out in a wheelchair. I've never operated one of these before. I know, so it's I'm quite sorry. confusing, huh? Wow. Um, no, it's it's not confusing, I'm just stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't, Don't make me laugh. laugh. Wow, my RN was amazing she was an angel her name is yesenia if your mom works at kaiser and her name is yesenia and you know she's a sweet woman listen i <laughs> love her world. yeah she's so sweet what did i do to deserve a friend like you whaley <laughs> she's strolling me in the rain i was telling whaley i never thought i'd be in a wheelchair on sunset boulevard <laughs> okay we're here okay we're here yay is this the pharmacy should be, she said, across the... Wow. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> So someone sent Sophie for her. Do you want to read it or should I read no, it? No, read it. Sophia, thinking of you and wishing you a speedy recovery, sending our love, the Fresh Team. <gasps> oh, thank you guys. So pretty. Too. That's so nice. They're so pretty. Thank you. I was not expecting that. So beautiful. I know. Wow. Steph came. It's the first time meeting Luna. Uh, I know. Yeah, but Stephanie loves bigger dogs, so. Look at Leo just yearning for attention. Oh, oh my god. Oh, crash. Yeah. Today is day three post op. Day three of recovery has been the best so far. 
and I also got a higher dose of pain meds, which I'm on right now and I'm feeling very loopy and I'm not really liking the feeling, but definitely helps with the pain. So my eyes are low <laughs> and I seem kind of out of it, that's why. Today is the first day where I am home alone for a bit. Robin had to go to work because, you know, she's been taking off a lot for me and whaley has been here like every single day and Andy has work as well. Like everyone has their own life, you know? So in this process, it's been super nice to feel so loved by so many people, I have to say. I think initially I just felt like this whole thing was gonna be so lonely. I don't even know why I'm crying. I thought that this process would be a lot more lonely just because, you know, I'm considering just everything and people being busy with their everyday lives and my parents um, not being able to come and I feel like I've just been in such a I feel like I've been in such a negative space for a while and I'm like pushing through and I'm trying to like be positive and not bring this energy towards my channel because like how many times can I cry and how many times can I say that I'm going through something at the end of the day I know people are coming to my channel to watch me not be sad all the time but i do want to mention that it's just been a really rough start for me this year and i'm not saying this for you to feel sorry for me i don't need to have the empathy or anything like that it's just at the end of the day this is this is my work and like i can't just take a break or just check out because i feel like it you know I've just been going through like 20 emotions a day. I could be so happy laughing to crying. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm okay because I really am not, but I will be. And I think it's good to talk about how I'm feeling at the moment. I don't even know if I'm making sense, but this is just supposed to be an update <laughs> about my stomach. And it just became this whole thing. I can't even finish feeling some type of way towards one thing because on top of that it's like things keep happening and like the surgery it's making me feel weak and in pain and when I'm on the meds I'm loopy and like emotional and it's a lot Duh. I just need to recollect my thoughts maybe come back with this update I'm sorry I don't know how this took a left turn but uh, it's fine One perk about getting surgery, you know, all my friends, all my friends can build things for me. Did you really have to poo? That's the No, I had to poo. <laughs> Just leave this up to us. Day four, post op is looking good, you guys. Appreciate you guys. Love y'all. I feel like I'm having a really good moment with my skin right now. It's like pretty supple and glowy. It doesn't last long, so I try to enjoy it when I can. It is such a beautiful day today. Wow. It's nice, because it's been raining a lot here, so it's good to feel some sun. This is my second walk that I'm doing since my surgery, and it's going okay. I'm feeling a lot more um, energized today. The first time I walked, I was like out of breath as soon as I stepped out the door, so. This is really nice. Just me and Leo. <laughs> uh, I had my very first one when I was in Hong Kong and it happened so randomly. I was having dinner with a group of friends at their house. Um, it was just four of us in total and we were eating 
Um, my friend Josh made like a cauliflower pizza and ro roasted vegetables, a very healthy meal. And in mid convo, I just started feeling something creeping up. And it wasn't like that kind of pain where you feel like you have to go poop. It was like intense knives to my stomach. It's very sharp, it's very excruciating, so painful to the point where you can't even think. Um, I would start to see white because it, the pain was so bad that it felt like I was going to faint. That one lasted about 20 minutes um, and I didn't go to the emergency room just because I don't even know why I didn't, I should have. I think I was just a bit scared that I was in a different country and I didn't know if my insurance would work there, I don't know. I have all these things in my head that prevents me from taking care of myself. but. I didn't end up going and the attack subsided and that was my very first one so I had never felt anything like that before. Normally I do have indigestion problems where my food doesn't digest and it sits on my chest and I have a lot of pain in my chest area and the only way I would get rid of that pain is to throw up my food. I was doing that since 7th grade till maybe two years ago. I don't do it anymore. I learned how to uh, kind of just deal with the pain and help relieve it in any way I can. I would use a heating pad. I would um, watch ASMR videos. <laughs> I love watching It's Blitz. She has gotten me through so many indigestion pains and attacks. She has no idea. So that's what I mean by ASMR helping me and I've tried CBD. I went to the doctors and gotten three different endoscopies. Um, I got one in Korea. We've just done a lot of tests and they would always come back and tell me that everything was okay. As far as my indigestion, I just kind of accepted the fact that I was always going to be there and I was always going to have to deal with it. But obviously I knew that I couldn't throw up my food forever. It would be so easy to vomit because the food didn't even go down yet. So that is something I've been dealing with, but the attacks were very new. Never grew up with having those. It was quite a shock and I was so concerned because I didn't know what it was. I never went to the doctors for it because I started to kind of lose hope and faith and that I would someday find a cure for this or have some answers because every time I went to the doctors, they would run some tests on me and say that I was fine, my endoscopy would come back normal, and so I was just kind of hopeless. So when I started getting the attacks, I just had the same mentality, like they're not gonna be able to find what it is. Since then, I've had, I don't know exactly how many attacks I've had. I wanna say 10. They were all really rough. There was another one with my sister and Silas home. And I had an attack and that one I had to go to the emergency room. So Silas took me to the emergency room and they did an ultrasound on me because I've never had an ultrasound done. And that's when um, the doctor there saw that I had gallstones in my gallbladder. If you guys aren't familiar, the gallbladder sits right here on the right side, right underneath like my boob and it helps produce bile which helps break down the food in your stomach and when there's stones in there sometimes the stones can try to go through the bile duct which is this tube and if it's trying to go through that that's when you feel a gallstone attack the doctor said that could be the reason why you're getting those attacks but it wouldn't be correlated with your digestion pains that you get because I always thought they were like hand in hand because every time I would have an attack it would start off with me feeling that feeling that I get when I'm indigested and I know indigested is not even a word I think it's a word that I made up I use it all the time and whenever my friends are with me they ask me like are you indigested so it's it's a word now <laughs> but when I say indigested that means like the food has not digested properly and it's sitting here and it's causing pain. Anyways, they told me to see a specialist um, to, to consider getting my gallbladder removed. When I met with my specialist, this was last year sometime, I really wasn't a fan of my doctor and I don't know, it, it just didn't get a good vibe from him and 
I felt like I didn't have enough answers for me to just be like, I'm getting surgery. He did suggest that I should get my gallbladder removed. However, he said that there wasn't a guarantee that that is what is causing the attacks. And for me at that point, I was just in a different place last year. I was just really scared and fearful. And I was like, nope, if this isn't 100% for sure what is causing my attacks, I'm not getting it. And then I just brushed it aside. And probably wasn't a good idea because I had quite a few more attacks since then. I got to the point where it was the end of 2018 and I told myself, I've really got to work on my health and do this for myself and really figure things out in 2019 so I can live a better quality life because constantly my relationship with food would be so fearful. I made a promise to myself um, in 2018 for my New Year's resolution that I would take care of my body and I'm doing that. And now here we are. I have gotten my surgery done. It's been two weeks. I'm feeling great. I um, haven't had a single attack. I didn't mention that I got a new doctor um, and she's a woman and I love her. She also told me that if I got the surgery that it isn't a hundred percent guarantee that I won't get the attacks. However, it is the first best thing that I could do for myself to narrow down the options. So even with me getting this surgery and I get an attack in the future, though I will be so discouraged, at least I know that, well, it's not my gallbladder, so we gotta go back and do some more testing, you know? I knew that this was the best thing I could do for myself. And I'm so glad I did it. I was so nervous, but um, I had an amazing doctor. The surgery went really well. I was worried about my incisions and they're like tiny and they're healing really well. I have four incisions, one in my belly button and one here, here, and here. But yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys and I just wanted to make this video to kind of talk about my entire experience because it is something that I've never dealt with before and hopefully this is helpful for any of you who may have gallstones or if you've had any kind of chronic illness and you've been dealing with it for a very long time and you've been just pushing it aside, I hope that this encourages you to uh, make it a priority and take care of yourself because you cannot live the best life possible with those types of things holding you back. It's so important to take care of those things before you get older and it may be too late. You know, let this be a wake up call for you too. Health is so important and I I'm so glad that I went through with the surgery. Like I said, I haven't had one attack and even though the surgery wasn't supposed to help with my indigestion pain, I have not got indigested once since my surgery. And I don't know if that's luck, but I don't wanna jinx myself. I really hope that this was what I needed to do all along. So I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much for watching and again, for all of your kind words and your sweet comments. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one.